All right, folks. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to take you along uh, tracking elk. And when I say tracking, you know, to me, uh, I'm talking about um, finding a set of fresh tracks and following them until you catch up to the animal and trying to sneak in close to it if you can. Um, and so for me, as you can see, I'm just walking along this muddy road. Uh, the start of every trail uh, begins with finding a track to follow. Uh, it's been raining for two days, uh, so I've got a really good clean slate, um, clean substrate to, to find a trail. It makes it easy to distinguish old tracks from, from new ones. And I'm just gonna hike along and, uh, you know, when I cut, when I cut fresh sign, uh, we'll start videoing and see if we can catch up to the animal. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's see what happens today.
was awesome. Uh, great trail. I thought I started on two bulls, ended up being three. Um, last night, it's rained for two days. And the rain quit kind of early in the morning, late last night. I didn't get up here uh, till about 1, 1.30. Um, so there's a lot of time for the animals to move. Uh, I probably hiked about three miles um, and came up about uh, 1,400 feet in elevation until I cut a track fresh enough to follow. Um, and then I followed them, I don't know, I'd estimate maybe maybe a mile and a half, not a very far trail, um, which is, which I like, um, you know, you get on them fresh after the rain quits like that and, and you have less distance to cover to, to get to the animal. And that, you know, that's the whole point. Um, when I got on their tracks, you know, they, they were walking up that muddy road, feeding on that pompous grass and then turned on that old timber road to where they bedded. And then there was that spot where the two, two of them were sparring, um, that's that caught up a lot of time for me right there where they were bedded and and in that section right after it too before we got into the forest uh there was a lot of milling around and, and bedding and and i was pretty tough in there um but then when we got into the woods uh you know it was a good game path tracks were easy to see followed them up the ridge to this other to the road where it you know came back um and then they cut off this corner into that pompous grass right there. And, and that was a really tough section, really challenging substrate. I, I really was having trouble finding the track and ended up having to um, kind of circle around to, to see if I could just cut their trail where they were going. And that's when I ran into them. Um, had a couple things going, you know, in my favor that allowed me to get so close. Uh, one is the wind. Wind was blowing towards me from them. Two is that there was three animals, and so they were kind of making a bunch of different noise moving through that stuff. Um, and three, so these are Roosevelt elk, um, and these were pretty big bulls, some of the biggest bulls that there are. And, and uh, you know, I learned from Brian McConnell that um, those big bulls can shed their antlers right now, middle of February. Today's February uh, uh, 16th, maybe. Um, it's the middle of February. And um, so any day, these bulls are going to drop those antlers. That was a pretty big bull there. And so they were, you know, thrashing their antlers around, um, which allowed me to get close. And I just started acting like I was a bull, raking my stick on stuff. And, and I hope you could see those antlers um, in the video. You know, I was probably 15 yards from him. Um, couldn't see any of his body, though. I could just see the antler tips. The brush was so thick. And then they, um, they knew something wasn't quite right spooked off a little bit i pushed it and then the wind switched and um and they took off uh but man that was a great trail uh really fun good practice um yeah Whew, i'm getting thirsty oh yeah 